guys, we're going to dive into Quick Facts Session 1. This is meant to be high yield, fast paced, and to teach you some really quick facts that are testable on the USMLE. So we're going to talk about acute otitis media. All right, so some things that you need to know. Number one, how do you diagnose this? When should this be a suspicion on your differential? So if you see a bulging tympanic membrane, you need to be thinking acute otitis media as one of the top differential diagnoses. And so even if it's erythematous, that is not enough to make your diagnosis. And so what do you do to treat it? For these patients, you want to do antibiotics for ages less than two years old. And if they are greater than two years old, you can actually observe these patients if their symptoms are really mild. And so if they don't have really, really painful ears that is causing the patient to be screaming out, if they don't have really high fevers, otorrhea, all these types of things, then you can generally just observe these patients. All right, and so what would you do for the first line treatment of antibiotics? Well, amoxicillin is kind of your go-to for these patients. Some other alternatives is a Z-pack, which is a zithromycin, or septonir, and so that's one of your cephalosporins. But on the test, usually your answer is going to be amoxicillin. If you don't see that as an answer choice, make sure you know azithromycin and septonir as other high yield options. So to diagnose, you're looking for the bulging tympanic membrane. If they're less than two years old, then you're going to give antibiotics pretty much always on your NBMEs. And if they're over two years old with mild symptoms, then you can actually observe these patients. But if they have moderate or severe symptoms, you're going to give amoxicillin or azithromycin or septonir, depending on what is available as an answer choice on your test. Okay, so that is kind of the quick rundown on acute otitis media. What are some complications you could expect? I'm not going to type all these out, but you could have mastoiditis, so erythema, swelling, pain behind the external ear right about here at your mastoid process. You could get bullous meningitis, which is painful bulla on your tympanic membrane. These patients are treated actually the exact same as your regular old otitis media patients. So you're going to give them the antibiotics, give them the amoxicillin, and you can give them azithromycin or septonir if those are your options as well. All right. And so if the patient has three or more, let me type this out because this is high yield. So if they have three or more occurrences within six months, then you're going to want to do a tympanostomy tube on these patients. So that could be an answer choice on your USMLE step two is tympanostomy tube. If they have three or more occurrences of acute otitis media within a six month period. All right. So make sure you know that I've seen that tested before. Next, let's talk about otitis externa really briefly. So we'll say acute otitis externa. And I want you guys to give me feedback on this video after you check it out. If you like kind of going through it with me as I teach rather than me already having all the notes typed out, let me know. I'm happy to do it either way. If you guys have seen some of my other crash courses, I actually type out what I'm going to talk about during the time that I'm prepping for the video. But if you guys kind of just like seeing what I throw at you as we go, we can do that too. I'm happy to do whatever you guys enjoy. Might be a little bit more disorganized if we do it this way, but it's also more kind of you go with the flow and we'll see what we talk about. So for acute otitis externa, what do you want to do to treat these patients? So obviously clean the ear. That's never going to be an answer choice, but of course you want to do that. Um, and then you want to look for the keyword here is topical. So you want to consider topical antibiotics or topical glucocorticoids. And so the antibiotics that they will commonly give you as an answer choice will be something like ciprofloxacin or polymyxin B slash neomycin. And so the whole point of these antibiotics is to cover what two bugs? Well, it's going to be pseudomonas and staph coverage. Those are the most common bugs for your acute otitis externa. So got to know those. Your treatment is going to be first line antibiotics. You can add glucocorticoids. Uh, some of the protocols now are actually saying give both in conjunction with each other. Um, but on the USMLE, if they don't give you glucocorticoids as an answer choice, then go with your antibiotics. Okay, so let's give a quick recap. Acute otitis media, you're looking for the bulging tympanic membrane. For the treatment, you're looking for amoxicillin. And then for acute otitis externa, 
for treatment wise, you're looking for stuff that's uh, more like pseudomonas and staph coverage. So ciprofloxacin or polymyxin B and neomycin. But good thing that you can kind of use to clue yourself in is otitis externa is external to the tympanic membrane. And so you can just put in eardrops. So that's why they're topical. And it's going to go right into that external auditory canal and treat the pseudomonas or staph infection. So hopefully that helps. This is just a quick little video. Um, this is something that I'm trying out. If you guys like it as we go, or if you guys want me to have kind of all the notes typed out so it's less distracting for you, maybe, I don't know. Uh, I'm open for all suggestions. So have a great night, everybody. Um, it's currently 4.15 in the morning here. So I wanted to fire this off real quickly for you guys. Um, we'll talk soon.